Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and I'm here with the Mitsutoya Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to show you how QVPAC Auto Trace works. What is Auto Trace? It's a tool where the camera moves around the edge of a part, collecting points as it goes. So let's get started. So for this how-to, I'm going to use this example shape as an Auto Trace scan. To begin with, I'm going to use the point buffer. The reason why I'm using point buffer is it's a collection of points of any random shape. In other words, this shape that I'm measuring here is not a single circle or a line or any other shape built into QV pack. So point buffer makes the most sense. When I click on it, my toolbar opens up down here and I want to make sure the auto trace is selected, which it is. Now I'll use the joystick, move up to the top of this shape. And because multi-click plus is selected, I could use a few clicks of the mouse to place the auto trace tool in the field of view. Then from here, I could click either the edit button or double click inside of the tool to bring up the window where I could set a bunch of parameters for the auto trace tool. In this how-to, I'm not going to go through every parameter. I'll just touch on the most important ones. First off, under the scan tab, I have scan interval. And scan interval controls the width of the tool and also how many points are scanned during the auto trace. In other words, if I set scan interval to 10, for example, I will scan every 10th pixel as a point, which I'll use 10 in this example. Then under the advanced tab, I have two settings that I typically change. Under end point mode, I have three options, automatically terminate, use start point, and specify end point. Automatically terminate means that the auto trace will start from where it's currently located and continuously scan until I scan 200,000 points, what's set in this field right here. Use start point means that the auto trace will start from this location and scan until it gets back to the starting point. And lastly, specify end point. If I choose that, I will be able to click a second location and the auto trace will trace until it gets to this second location. For this example, I'm going to use start point. Then the other setting that I typically change is display edge points. There's two options under here, before stage movement and upon point detection. Before stage movement means that each point that's measured by auto trace will be displayed all at the same time, right before the camera moves to the next location. I don't like this option because the points are displayed right before the camera moves, so there's no chance to see the measured points. The other option is upon point detection. In that case, as the points are measured, the points will be displayed in the field of view. I prefer this because it's much easier to see the points as they're being measured. So now that I've made these settings, I'll click OK, and I'll click Run, and the auto trace will start running. So you can see how the auto trace is detecting points along the edge, and when the auto trace gets to the edge of the field of view, the camera automatically moves following the shape of the part being scanned. So now that the auto trace is finished, I can click OK, click OK to the name, and notice in QV graphics, the auto trace shape is displayed. Now I could take those scan points and I could export them to, for example, Mitsutoya's Form Trace Pack software, which could compare this trace to a CAD model. So that's how the auto trace tool works. For more how-to videos like this one, and for any other questions, please go to mitstoya.com.